Alright. Time to get moving. Oh, I still can't see where I'm going. Ah! Trying to fight, like, trip and fall down a mountainside or something, then... Please don't tell anybody that's how I died. You little... You could have ambushed me that entire time I was on my way up here from Day Spring Canyon. But no, you waited until the exact moment that I was going to start recording, didn't you? Oh yeah, no, you had to wait just until I was about to press the record button. And then, then you attack. Then you attack right as I'm trying to do the intro. And you thought I was just a pretty face. That'll teach you. Serana. No offense, but I fucking hate vampires. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to Let's Play Motherfucking Skyrim. Otherwise known as Test My Patience Simulator 2017. Um, where well, we've just left Dayspring Canyon. And we are on our way to do one of two things. Either head to the Ancestral Moth Glade place in, in the area near Falkreef. Or alternatively head to Morthal and get ourselves hopefully cured of vampirism. I can see you guys now. Turned up my night vision. And at the moment, I'm honestly leaning more towards going to see Falion and Morthal about the whole getting cured of vampirism thing because it's becoming an inconvenience. What For one thing, I'm sick of running around in the nighttime where even with night vision I seem to have difficulty seeing stuff. Um, for another thing, I guess... I don't think Predator Vision's working. Oh no, it is. It's just you don't show up on it for some reason. Interesting. Well, anyway. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna- I think I'm actually gonna go to Morthol, even though Falkreath is probably closer. I'm going to hope that the carriage dude is there, and then I'm going to basically get the carriage to Morthal, hopefully. And we'll go see Falion, because I'm sick of this. I hate running around in the nighttime in the dark all the time. And to boot, I can't get into any shops or anything. Like, I can't buy more lantern oil, for example, because everywhere is constantly closed at the time of night where I'm actually out and about doing stuff. It's a real pain. I just, I can't do any shopping or anything. Look out. Also, the wildlife seems to be a bit more hyperactive at this time of night as well, so that doesn't help. Fucking giant spiders and bears working together. I, what is the world coming to? But anyway. Yeah, it's got, it's got to stop. Tarana, up with this I will not put. You can you can do your vampire thing if you like, but it is not for me. Oh no. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Morthal. Climb and back and we'll be off. Oh, steady old. So toodly rift in, toodly rift. I'll see you again some other time.
Yo, oh, hello. Sunlight. Well, I'll put up with you for now, because I don't have a choice. It's nice to see the sunlight. For once. Even though it's in the middle of a snowstorm and it is burning my skin. It's a fine day Falion. Alright, where's, where's Falion? Is it like the court wizard or something? I have vague recollections. Uh... Damn Stormcloak rebels. I could be imagining things, but I think I also just heard a dragon. Hey, get out of here. Which is just magnificent. Wow, it's dark in here. Please don't mind your Good grief. He's not bad. Really, he's not. Alright, Mr. Fallion. Where would I find you? I don't think he owns the, the shop, does he? Is that the Empire keeping the Dominion out of Skyrim? Yes, very, very true. However, now is not the time for that sort of discussion. What the fuck's Fallion? I could probably turn on a quest marker if I get desperate. Where is your wizard? Being safe, I hope. I'll take my leave then. Yeah. If I'd been on guard at the Thalmor Embassy, would nobody be disturbing that party? Oh, it just hurts. He's not here, is he? I do. Maybe he has his own house. Fonnier's house. Oh, your door's stuck. No, 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 you're good. You're just milling around for some reason. Was worried there for a minute. Where does Fallion live? It's More a guardhouse. It used to be a quiet place, but then the world used to make sense. Yeah, it did. I'm with you on that one. Halva's house. Right, I give up. Oh, you did. <laughs> it was the next house along anyway. Oh, never mind. You are new to Morthal. You've not spoken before. This is interesting. If you stand before me to accuse me of sacrificing children or eating the hearts of the dead, you may save your breath! I have done no such thing, nor do I intend to. I simply wish to live my life in peace. I, um... I'm on the same page as you, actually, to be honest with you. More and more these days, Falion. Um, why would anyone accuse you of that? The people of Morthal would much rather weave their own horrid tales about my life than simply ask me for the truth. If they choose to fear me in their ignorance, that's their choice. But it will not change what is true. Why is my depth of field behaving really strangely? Eh. God, depth of field drives me nuts sometimes. Um. I've heard you're an expert in vampirism. I know many things. I've studied things beyond the reach of most humans. Traveled the oblivion plains, seeing things one should not see. I have met Daedra. And Dwemer, and everything in between, and I know enough to see a vampire where others would see a man. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm looking for a cure. Don't like, please don't laugh. It is possible. Really? I know of a ritual, but have never performed it. It requires a filled black soul gem. You will need to kill someone. When you have a gem and have filled it, return to me and I will perform the ritual. I will bring life to your dead body, vampire. You know, I might even have one of those just lying around. I'm that sort of person, apparently, who just has black salt. Yep, three of the fuckers. All right, come here. My talents are much needed here in order to keep Morthal safe. I have a filled black soul gem. What would you know? What are the chances? 
Very well. Meet me at the summoning circle in the marsh at dawn. We shall banish the creature you have become. Very good. Uh, why set up shop in Morthal then? As anyone will tell you, Morthal can be a dangerous place. My talents are useful here. I help maintain order, even if it goes unnoticed. Can you tell me about the area? The marsh is treacherous. You would do well to not wander at night. Unfortunately, up until now, that's the only option I've had. Uh, all right then. Till next time. So he wants me to meet him at the Black Marsh at dawn for him to perform the ritual. I should be careful not to be blood starved when I meet him, or he won't trust me enough to. What? I'm pretty blood starved right now. Uh, well, that's a problem. Yep, that's a problem, all right. So I need to feed. Oh, I swore that I wouldn't do this. Ugh. What happens if I just try and turn up anyway while blood starved? It's not going to work, is it? It wouldn't say that in the journal if it, if it would if it was going to work. Oh man. Um, let's find the inn for starters. Uh, what am I going to do? Skies, traveler. Another quiet day. I guess if I have to suck someone's blood, it's got to be someone who deserves it, if anything. I mean, I guess it just, it doesn't, I'm assuming it probably doesn't harm them, but it's just disgusting. It really is. I don't like it. Excuse me. Is there a bell here I can ring? No. It's there ain't much to offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I love how it still says 100 gold, even though it's 10. Right this way. Just because of that one mod I installed, like, decades ago. It didn't uninstall properly for some reason. Let me know if there's anything else you need. I'm afraid you can't provide it. All right, so let's let's rest until night time, I guess. And I guess I need to go on the prowl and find some asshole to suck their blood. I mean, I'm hoping I could I could find a bandit or something, maybe. Oh, yeah. If you've business with the Jarl. I suppose to just some I do what I can. random Today's innocent townsperson. She only has to deal with important matter. Where could we go? We need to go somewhere with bandits, really, don't we? I suggest we Stone Hills. I suggest we head off into these hills here. Um and see if we can find I don't know, something. And then I will have to attempt to feed on him, I guess. I, I, uh... Fuck. There's a dragon, isn't there? There's a dragon. I might have to bang dwell on it. I'm not sure I'm in the condition to fight a dragon at the moment. I'm really not up to it. So there's a fort over there, but I'm pretty sure we've been there, right? That's Fort Snowhawk. It's probably going to be full of Imperial soldiers, so that's not an option. I could always take a closer look, but I think we're getting close to this dragon, aren't we? I don't want to be getting close to this dragon, but I'm... it's just sort of happening. Being drawn to the fucker like a moth to the flame, I swear.
There were definitely were bandits there. But I'm pretty sure I killed them all. I don't know, maybe we should check it out. Just in case. I suppose I could suck Valian's blood. <laughs> he wouldn't mind, would he? Well, let's let's check this place out first. I hadn't thought about that actually. Be careful. That'll teach you. Yeah, we kind of need to be sneaky here, Serana, because I can't suck their blood if they're trying to fight me, can I? In fact, you know what? On that note, get over here. Come on. Yes. If you say so. Yeah, just just wait here. Me trying to sneak. Oh, this is not going to end well, is it? Oh dear. Well, I tell you what. Oh, I can hit skeletons. Fuck, I didn't need skeletons. I needed something with actually that actually has blood. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Ooh, fucking hell. Never should have come here. You hear something? Can I... Tell me for what I do. I, I actually kept some of these invisibility potions after all this time. For once. I actually didn't get a chance to use it. Do I have any other potions that could help me out here? Cure disease. No. It's a bit stronger than that. Um, water breathing, 45 of your resist magic. There. So I think it might be a potion of muffle or something. I don't know. I'll just fortify sneak. I haven't got a clue. Okay, so there are necromancers here. That's better than nothing. Jesus, I'm still invisible. Oh, come the fuck on, really? Skeletons can see invisible people now? Is that a thing? Part of invisible that they not get. Right, I'm gonna have to just deal with the guys on the outside, apparently. Fucking ice magic. Come on, stop wriggling. Right, let's hope there's some people inside I can sneak up on, because this has gone terribly so far. I think I might be able to sneak up behind them and then get them that way without actually there having to find them asleep, if you see what I mean. Yeah, just, just chill, dude. Go back about your business. Nothing to worry about here. Oh, you can't! Oh, Jesus, this is never gonna work, is it? I can't sneak for Toffee. I'm so unbelievably bad at sneaking, it's beyond even a joke. Dragon Priest Ashes, that's a new one. Um, well, I might have had a chance, but apparently it's... What the fuck? How did you not notice, dude? Uh, okay.
Oops, that was the wrong button. My bad. I thought I could sneak up on them from behind and grab them, but I probably can't because I'm a useless, terrible excuse for a vampire. Oh, fuck off. Any more of you? Please let me find someone who's asleep. There's beds everywhere, but none of you fuckers are asleep in them. I guess necromancers must be nocturnal. one other person here and they are fully compass mentis unfortunately well this was a big old waste of time wasn't it Try it again. Hello. Is someone there? No. <laughs> Just let me suck your blood. Oh, if he doesn't get damaged by his own glyphs, that would have been hilarious. Is someone there? Sure, I heard something. Yeah, you, you, you did. You're not wrong. But, um. God damn it. Oh dear. I just sort of skirt around the edges of the room here. Don't think I can get him when he's sort of alerted like this, can I? Wank. <sighs> oh, this this ice magic bullshit again. I hate this. I hate this so much. There we go. Ice magic will never not be the most annoying magic in Skyrim. <sighs> Maybe there's... I should have a look around. Sometimes you find vials of human blood and things like that around here, don't you? In these places. I'm not imagining that. I'm pretty sure I have at some point or another found vials of blood while exploring places like this. Although I don't know if there's much chance of finding that in a necromancer den, but it's worth checking. Oh, I see we're going to be awkward, are we? Okay. Oh, boy. It's not going to be anything useful in here. Why am I bothering? I have no idea. Can't believe people actually like this minigame. There are people out there who actually enjoy this minigame. Knew that was going to happen. Well, if there was going to be a vial of human blood around here somewhere, it would be probably in a, in a room like this, I would imagine. Now it's just all wine. Uh. I 
What a waste of time. Oh well. I suppose I'd better go collect Serana and uh, sneak back into town. Hopefully Falion's asleep. <laughs> See, because <laughs> he'll be able to trust me because I've already sucked his blood. Oh, for fuck's sake. Next time, just kill yourself and save me the trouble. Hello. Ugh. There we go. Ah, oh, come on, really? Yeah, this one's fucked. All right, where did I leave her? I don't quite remember. It wasn't this way, because that, that, that way lies solitude, so... Back down here somewhere. Let's suppose I could suck your blood, Serana. I tell you to go to sleep somewhere. Not sure that works, is it? Sucking vampire's blood. There you are. I could ask one of my other followers. We reach Maybe, but soon. let's go. That wouldn't seem fair. I knew you'd miss me. <laughs> Not so much, but uh. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Who's there? Fucking mud crabs. Just give it a rest. Why would a mud crab just attack you like that anyway? Like, it must be smart enough. I know it's just a crab, but it must be smart enough to know that something about five times its size is not something it can ha eat for dinner. You'd think the, you know, the law of survival of the fittest would apply, you know, eventually all the idiot mud crabs that- what the fuck happened here? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you'd think all the idiot mud crabs that in insist on attacking adventurers on site would eventually be removed from the gene pool. But, uh, I guess not. Well, aren't you the handsome one? You and I should spend some time together. Maybe another day. Uh... What's the time? 10.58 p.m. Bet you the fuck is not going to be asleep yet, is he? Alva's house. Don't care about there. It's going to be one of those annoying NPCs that basically just never, ever, ever goes to sleep. But we'll wait a little while and... Lost. Oopsie daisy, that's not what I meant to do. Shit. Oh well. Alright, you, for one thing... Do you need something? If you say so. Oh my days. <laughs> You're not supposed to be in here. Who the fuck are you? Not gonna warn you again. Get out or I'll... Yeah, I fucking knew it. He never goes to sleep. I'm no fan of the sun. None of the NPCs in this game ever go to fucking sleep. It's one in the morning. What are you still doing sitting there at your enchanting table, you lunatic? That actually genuinely really annoys me about the... It's not Skyrim specific either. It's, it's all the game's oblivion onwards. NPCs in these games just never go to fucking sleep until like four in the morning. And sometimes they just don't go to sleep at all. It's... It's just really weird. I remember having the same problem in, in Oblivion whenever I used to play Thief characters that would have to, you know, nick things for the Thieves Guild, because that was part of what you had to do in the Thieves Guild in that game. And just, it would seem... It seemed like most of the time the NPCs would never go to fucking bed. Greetings. The dragon's still around here somewhere as well. 
High Moon Hall, maybe, maybe, maybe there's someone in here. There were a lot of beds, so... I'm starting, I'm not, not feeling quite as picky as I once did, unfortunately, so... How the fuck do I feed? It won't let me. Uh. What? Is the game broken or am I doing something wrong? Vampires are 25% hard to detect when sneaking. Yeah, like that fucking helped me back there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm genuinely a little bit confused. Uh, yeah, that's not going to help. That might have helped, but I don't know. Maybe I should try using that on someone. Could have tried using it on those necromancers, but fuck it. You. You're the harbinger. Da when will you fool? For fuck's sake. Great. Now everyone's going to be super paranoid about vampires. That's because that's going to help me. That's really going to help me. Even more paranoid about vampires, I should say. You guys, yeah, you do have a door that's broken. Uh, anyone around here? What the? Oh, whoops. Oh, God, have I just used that up for the d I have. Fucking. I thought I still had the other shout equipped. I really did. someone by themselves. Lost. Like you, for instance. Oh, wait, no, that's Serana. <laughs> uh, Jesus. It's gonna be full of people though, isn't Finally, it? Someone comes in. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Yeah, figured as much. I got nothing but time these days. Yep. Plenty to drink. 
No, well, yes, actually, I do, but not what you're thinking of. <laughs> uh, God damn it. God over there. <sighs> I suppose you've got a vial of human blood lying around. Whoever it is that's supposed to live here, but who is not here. Well, this was awfully silly leaving your your shop unattended in the middle of the night with no lock on the door. I mean, are you, is this for real? Are you serious? Christ. I guess maybe it's a nice neighborhood. Of course, it's not a nice neighborhood. Jesus Christ, there are vampires walking the streets and not just me. Okay. I had to go there because um, I had to go deal with something off camera, unfortunately. So apologies for that interruption there. But while I was gone, and I need to pick this up just because the sound is irritating the crap out of me. Um, while I was gone, I realized that um, I probably could have used Vampire Seduction on the Necromancers. The only problem is, if memory serves, it doesn't really... It, it doesn't... It doesn't work on anyone unless they're a particularly weak NPC, unfortunately. So, having said that, I think those necromancers might have been too high level for it to even work on them, so potentially nothing lost there, and, uh, luckily, but uh, what I do need to do is bite somebody before dawn, and it's about 2am right now, so we're running out of time. Um... I'm thinking, like, those guys are on the other side of the river. Oh, no, the guard's headed that way, because if so, that's not good. There were wolves on the road up north. I don't want to try it on one of the guards, because I feel I like they the might be a bit too tough. I feel like it won't actually work on them. So... These guys, on the other hand... I mean, they stood right next to each other, so I have no idea how this is going to go down, but <laughs> this might be my only remaining option. Um, so I guess we'll try it. Here goes. Ah, damn wizard. Keep your spells off of me. Okay, now I can feed. And husband was none the wiser. I th I think we might have got got away with that. Oh, well, they caught on to anything going on. I better move. the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. <laughs> I begin to think it might be hundreds of years before the Dragonborn actually bothers to arrive at High Rothgar again. <laughs> Just one thing in front of another at the moment. Right, okay, so that's... We've done that. I am no longer... Uh, well, I'm still a vampire, obviously. But I'm no longer blood-starved, at least I don't think I am. Um... Don't really look much different, but hey... Just gonna put that back on, I think, actually. Um So yeah. I am no longer blood starved. I don't know how long that's gonna last for, unfortunately though. So I guess I'll just wait here, I suppose. I mean meet Fallion at dawn. Meet him where? Over there. All right then. Enough. What's our next move? I knew you'd miss me. All right. 
Come along, then. Uh, I will go wait for him in the swamp, I think. Not particularly pleasant, but... Uh, I don't know, do we have to? We could just wait in the inn, I suppose. Maybe we should just wait in the inn. I don't know which, the, which is the best option, actually, now that I think about it. Mm. Now, we'll go in the inn. We'll go in the inn until about, like, maybe 5 o'clock in the morning or something. Or 5 a.m., something like that. Finally, someone comes Ugh. in. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I got nothing but time these days. Yeah, no, just gonna alive, sit and wait for a while. So, okay, it's nearly 3 a.m., so... I guess we'll wait two hours. Hurry up and order. I ain't got all day. No, I'm not. I'm not interested. I'm not. I don't want any food or drink. I'm off. Bye. Okay. Well, it's still dark out, but... I'm not going to take any more chances. So we need to go this way. Well, let me have another closer look at the map here. So, okay, so across the bridge, and then left a bit, and then right here, in this little channel. I can actually hear swamp noises, I've never noticed that before. It's not very loud, but yeah. I've never spent a lot of time in Morthal, to be honest. It's one of my lesser explored parts of Skyrim. Oh boy, yeah, there we go. Suns are coming. Alright. My night vision is on, isn't it? Yeah, good grief. It is dark! It is dark. Is this the place, then? Uh, more or less, yeah. He did mention something about a stone circle, didn't he? Or am I just imagining that? Oh, this looks... Yeah, this is it. Here. Really wish I had a lantern with oil in it. Oh, this has got to be it. Yeah, for sure. All right, then. Well... Oh, God, there he is. Good, you're here. Let's get this over with. As you desire. What do I do? Stand in the middle? I call upon Oblivion Realms, the home of those who are not our ancestors. Answer my plea. As in death, you there is you probably don't life. want to stand in the middle of this. In Oblivion, there is a beginning for that which has ended. I call what now? that power. Accept the soul that we offer. As the sun ends the night, end Ooh. the darkness of this soul. Oh, so I don't feel Return good. Return life to the creature you see before you. The ritual is complete. Is that it? Well, my night vision is gone, so I'm assuming. We need to get somewhere with this light. Uh... Where have you... Valiant, where have you gone? I can't see anything. Do I have a torch or something? Just as an emergency backup, maybe. I've got one torch. All right. Valiant. There you are. Morthal is a troubled place. It's my duty to see it rest in peace. Okay. Well, no closure then, apparently. That's just it. That was a bit... Underwhelming. I'm not that I'm complaining. I'm I'm very glad to finally be rid of my curse. Um. Ah, yes. Look, it's me. I'm back again. Oh God, I don't have glowing eyes anymore. It's brilliant. My skin isn't on fire. Oh. I just want to wait. I just want to wait a little a little bit longer. Watch the sun come up. Without it burning my skin. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
Everything's gone a bit blurry. Oh, it's because I'm freezing cold. Oh, Jesus Christ. I told you this would happen. Oh, oh. I need to get to, I need to get to a fireplace right now. Oh. You are freezing. Yeah, I noticed. 